Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name's Trev, and today is the start of the boat remaking series. So I'm in my room today, uh, not remaking the boat. We've got our boat here, and basically going to be showing you what we're putting on it, like roughly. Uh, so this is kind of what my boat looks like. Obviously, it's like it's this kind of boat. Like it's an aluminum frame with three benches, that kind of thing. Uh, I think they're laid out a little bit differently, and it doesn't have a divot on the transom, whatever stuff like that. But it's roughly what my boat looks like. So uh, the first thing is we have these two pieces of wood here that I'm putting on just over top of the benches and it's gonna be my like casting platform. My boat is I think four feet wide and the platform is just over seven feet long. So it's gonna be a good size platform. It'll be able to fit two people and it'll be it'll be nice. It's gonna be comfortable to fish out of. On the platform we're gonna have two different compartments. So like I just put up on the screen here, we've got the front one, my batteries are probably going to be here. Probably throw an anchor in there too, just because probably put the anchor off the front of the boat. I don't know yet for sure, but something like that. Uh, so not a lot is going to be in this front compartment. It's pretty shallow, so it can't fit a lot, but yeah. Uh, next thing we've got is this piece of wood that's going to be going over the bow, or kind of. We have a bow mount trolling motor. It's the Minn Kota Power Drive. It's just a 55 pound thrust one. But basically, we are. It's not like a. It's not a bass boat, so it doesn't have a actual spot for a trolling motor to sit. So we just have a little platform here that's gonna sit off of. There's my little trolling motor there, and then we just have my little fish finder here, which is just my Striker Five. I have a all season transducer that I'm putting on the back of the boat and I'll be able to just wire it kind of through here. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing to my boat. There's not much more that I need to do. This middle compartment here is gonna be more for like tackle and life jackets maybe. Uh, I don't know yet, but it's this one's gonna be pretty big. This one's not so big, but you don't need as much access for this front one. As for my back bench here, we might be putting another piece of wood on it just with carpet to make my butt less hot in the hot summer days. Maybe putting a seat, don't know yet. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna have my Striker 5 here probably on just a ram mount or something like that just to keep it looking good and able to swivel and whatever for wherever one is it. I don't think there's much else information uh, in these front parts right here, or maybe like this. My rods are basically going to be sitting with like their reels back here and like the tips just down this way. So we're probably going to try to find a way, maybe even if it's just like a loop for a bungee cord, but to be able to just strap the rods down for that when we're driving, they don't come flying towards me. I forgot to mention these platforms aren't going to be exposed wood. They're going to be carpeted, of course. Um, I've actually already put, well, my dad and I have put the first layer of the primer over the wood. So it's already sealed pretty well. We're going to do another layer of that, which you'll see. And then we're going to put carpet on it. Same with the plot, like uh, the storage doors. Um, so yeah, I don't know exactly what we're doing for how to open the storage doors, but it'll be pretty simple. So yeah, that's like the plan for the boat. The foot pedal's not gonna be up here, it's gonna be down here. This is just the basic picture. But yeah, uh, I hope you guys are excited to see me with the rest of this boat series. I'm super excited for it, uh, so I can't wait. All right, so that's it for the video. I hope you guys are excited to see me driving this thing and me getting this thing back up to, or not back up, but ready to be able to be fished out of. But uh, yeah, that's it for me today. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Drop a like, drop a comment of whatever you want. But yeah, see you guys in the next video.